do Christians have any creativity whatsoever? Or are we just dull? Stay tuned if you want to find out. <laughs> My name is Z Matthew, and welcome to Animated Christians, where we're animating just for you original content, just like the series you're watching. You want to learn more about the channel, you can click the video card above that gives a more description of what this channel's about. Now, I'm not saying all Christian movies are like this. I'm just sharing with you what I have noticed in most recent Christian movies. Let's talk about Christian movies and whether they're good or bad. Plus, let me know some of your favorite Christian movies in the comments below. First of all, what is a Christian movie? It is basically a movie dedicated towards Christians who are hoping more people will come to the faith through these movies. Most Christian movies are bad to an extent, and a lot of Christians seem to blame the media for not getting their message out there. That's not not what I see. I see a more underlying issue here. The main problem is there are two types of Christian movies. The first type of Christian movie is what I call sermon movies. This type of movie seems to have someone who does not go to church and hears a message in church within the movie and tries to resist but eventually gets saved in the end at the same church because of the message he heard. The second type of movie is more of an end times movie, which Christians have more freedom to be creative in this field, but still have a strong message. So let's break this down a little bit, and I've watched multiple videos on this subject on both sides of the aisle. The first thing is the message. Now, there's nothing wrong with having a message in your movie, but if it becomes too preachy, you lose your audiences. That's why I call these sermon movies, because they focus so much on getting the message out there that a lot of them forget that it's a movie with story and characters, not just a message, and it feels like as if you had just walked into church. Which leads me to my next point. Characters. A lot of Christian movies have what you call stereotype characters that have no real depth to wrap onto. Plus the characters feel sort of one-sided at times, where all you're getting is the faith-based side and not the other viewpoint, or everything else is treated like a bad guy. Third is please catch up with tech nowadays because it feels like Christian movies are from 10 years ago. Sometimes instead of today, life changes and we need to adapt if you want to spread the gospel around the world. Next, we have to have good acting in your movies. This one has become an improvement over the years and Christian movies are getting better actors and actresses that can act. Now let's focus on the final part, which is the story, which I see a fault in. One, the message in the movie becomes too preachy or it is the main focal point of the movie. Two, there is no foreshadowing in these movies. Now let's try to fix this issue. First of all, rather than having the message as the main focus of the film, focus that message into one of your characters. Like ask questions. Why is this character like this? What made this character this way? How did they become that way? And how do they overcome that obstacle? By providing the message as a part of your character, you give them more depth and give them something to hold on to. But what I am I'm not saying is each character should be preachy about the message. They should feel real enough so you can relate to them. Make your characters realistic and not so plasticky, but relatable to your audience because if your audiences can't relate to your characters, how will they understand your movie? 
Movies are all about show and no tell. Basically, if it's possible to show the character's emotion without words, then do so. Rather than having the characters say I'm angry, sad, or upset, this will help move your story forward. Your story should be interesting as well. Like you the director wants to know what comes next. Your story should be interesting to the audiences like a new way to tell the love of Christ but not preachy but make the audience think. That's one of my secrets when I create original movies, is I ask a question, then I make a movie answering that question. Also, your story should have a beginning, middle, and end, and should not leave a cliffhanger unless you plan to make a sequel. Second, it should be consistent and easy to follow for your viewers because if you have one story over here and try to mix it with another story over here, you're gonna confuse your audiences on who the main character is and what your story is trying to tell. Also, don't do this because I have been guilty of it too. Use the movie at the beginning as a mystery, then cut to 48 hours earlier. Then end it where it started. Unless you have a really good story to tell, make it interesting if you're going to use this technique. Plus, have good pacing in your films. The final thing here I would avoid is using scripture too much, using Jesus too much, and having scripture on screen multiple times. Because this can come off too preachy and can be a turn off to new people who might have never heard the faith. The next thing is try not to advertise books in the movie, if possible. I think this is a somewhat turn off for people like someone gets a book in the movie and boom the author is there because it shows you're trying to sell something. Another thing is don't foreshadow something if you're not going to use it in some shape or form. What do I mean by that? Well, movies have something that they call foreshadowing, which means that there is something at the beginning of the film a character might do, and then later we forget about what they did at the beginning, and in the climax, we return to what they remembered in the beginning of the film. The final thing I have noticed recently is most Christian trailers are showing the heart of the movie and giving it away in most of the trailer. Some Christians might go see it, but when you do this, it gives no incentive to go see the movie. Instead, have just enough to get your audiences interested in your movie, nothing more. This way, your audience is intrigued with the story you have to tell. There are several different software and editing tutorials online to make simple videos just like the ones you see on YouTube. You don't have to wait until something is dirt cheap and be 10 years behind. Look at the tools you have today to create a great movie. Do not underestimate yourself with Christian movie stereotypes. And there's nothing wrong being based on a real story, but be creative and really think about the best way you can spread Christ through that story. Now, I know not everyone is a storyteller like me, but you can still make something great with your own style and with your own talent. So I hope this answers some questions on how to make a good Christian movie, what it should look like, and how you can fix it. Join me next Friday where we will continue to discuss Christianity and creativity in part 2 of this series which is about Christian music. And never forget Animated Christians is just for you.